hello again I will start by uh, presenting you a very particular case uh, using my account in uh, Medikai my favorite tool for maybe two years now so after login I go directly to my team anonym workspace where every case is anonymized and let's take a look uh, on this case uh, here would be some documents if uh, are any but not in this case and this is the DICOM data set and if I press um, the name then I will see these images in a, a classic and uh, quite good DICOM viewer so um, what seems to be the problem with this patient if you want to enhance the workspace you can press F11 in Google Chrome and you will be in full screen and um, I think you can uh, also ditch this uh, thumbnail on the on the left uh, not sure uh, how yes like this okay and uh, now you have uh, a very clear and uh, I rated um, workspace so what's happening uh, first of all this is a kid playing football uh, we see the metaphysics so that's why we know it's a kid what happens here it happened that he had a trauma actually he was um, he, he had a huge con contraction on the quadriceps and he felt a huge pain around this area of the anterior tibia what can we see here uh, if we put the T1 we see that there is an avulsion of the tibial apophysis, apophysis which now it's fractured and it is fragmented this is one fragment this is another one um, and there is a lot of inflammation here and this fragment is actually rotated with uh, 180 degrees uh, from the place uh, it was in the first place you see that uh, patella is higher than usual probably due to this avulsion and fracture of the apophysis which means that now uh, patella can can move uh, upwards and there is an, there is not not a complete torn because there are still some attachments here to the bone to the periosteum and uh, interestingly <coughs> we can see there is a fragment uh, in the lower pole of the patella which is fractured and it is in partially inside the tendon uh, there is some bony edema on both sides of these bones and i'm curious if uh, you ever seen something like uh, this before uh, so in my opinion this uh, kid had prior to the accident two uh, diseases one was um, Osgood Schlatter or tibial apophysitis which is um, an osteochondrosis in fact uh, of the tibial apophysis, apophysis. Uh, here it is a um, gross nucleus which is not completely ossified at this age and uh, because of the tremendous effort that a uh, performance athlete uh, is doing every day uh, well uh, the apophysis uh, suffers and it gets inflamed in this case it, it is an extreme case of uh, this Osgood Schlatter because there is also fracture but in my opinion this couldn't appear in a normal bone had to have some um, previous problems in this area on the other side uh, of the 
patella tendon this bony fragment uh, suggests that the kid had also the jumper's knee uh, syndrome or disease uh, which is also had another complicated name sending Larson Johansson um, which is also an osteochondrosis which appears during ossification process uh, in adolescents and in the case of um, um, high performance athletes it's not ossified correctly uh, but this is prior to uh, the trauma and to this fracture and probably has nothing to do with with this present trauma so other uh, pathology uh, there are non none not important at this moment um, so that's what i wanted to present to you i will probably um, enable this link here and i will give access anyone with this link anyone with this link will be able to access the dicom data data sets uh, how come in um, this fashion i will put this link into the comment area of the case on uh, youtube and if you press if you uh, click this link you will be requested to fill some something here and you can see the images like i already showed to you with a viewer similar or maybe the same viewer and you can take a good look at these images if you want more details so uh, thank you that's all for for this case uh, thank you for watching me uh, please subscribe share or like if you think uh, my effort uh, is worth it, otherwise all the best.